This is our world. This whole place. Everyone who ever was lives here. I'm not going to quote the whole quote from uh, Carl Sagan, but everyone who ever was, who ever lived, all lived on this planet. And there is lots of sights to see, a lot of things to visit, a lot of wonderful places to see, a lot of them appearing in pop, pop culture. Places in movies, TV shows, even in anime. Uh, not all of us have the ability to go and visit it. It's not just because of some pandemic thing. But maybe we just don't have the means to go visit it. That's what this show is about. This show is an exploration of our world and the show, there is beauty out there. There are wonders out there to see that though on social media it may look like the place is going to hell, there is still beauty out there. Still wonders to see and that's what this entire show is about. And today's episode, we're starting our journey. And in order to know where you're going, you have to first know where you started. And in today's episode, we are starting where I started, my hometown. And this is where I got my start. I grew up here in the city of Detroit, the Motor City, Motown, home of Henry Ford, home of all the big automakers. The city has had its history. It's had its ups, it's had its downs. It's, it's got a down right now, really. It's, I haven't been back there in a long time, but it was downhill when I initially left and it's gone more downhill since then. It's had its good mayors, it's had its bad mayors, it's had mayors that are downright criminal. But it was my home. It was where I grew up my, basically my entire life. I was born here in Livonia, but we never really lived there. I only ever knew Detroit, and I did live in a few downriver areas for a while, but Detroit's where I grew up, and so that's where we're going to start our journey, in my neighborhood. First, we're going to start in a little place that you'll just see. This is Dearborn, Michigan, and this is the town that uh, is next to Detroit and the area that I grew up in. Here is the Ford building. If you ever wanted to know where Ford HQ is, here it is. And most of my life with my mom and then later me and my friends, we would come and visit this place. The Fairlane Town Center here in Dearborn. It's basically a big shopping mall. This is one of the largest in Michigan. I'm not sure if there is a larger one than Fairlane. I don't know the current state of this mall. I know a lot of malls in the country have been shutting down. Huh, there's a Macy's now. Okay, I did not know that. I haven't been back here in such a long time. Here the skylights and everything. There used to be a really nice movie theater in here. I think it's still here. I think there is one here. I think... Here's the J.C. Penny, and there was a Sears, but I think that oh, here's the AMC. Although it was a different, different back then. This is very different now. This wasn't like this before. But uh, this movie theater, every night, every night, this theater, though it wasn't like this when I grew up, this theater 
would show um, heavy metal and the Rocky Horror Picture Show every night after midnight. And I came to see all sorts of movies here with my mom and my friends. I saw The Wrath of Khan here. I saw Return of the Jedi here. Uh, I did not see uh, the original Star Wars here. I will show you the theater where I saw the original Star Wars. And I did not see The Empire Strikes Back here. I don't know what the theater was that I saw uh, The Empire Strikes Back. We had to go, we had to drive a long way to get to it. So, when I, I remember when we did, but so I don't know what theater it was. And here's the hotel next to the town center. There used to be, and then there's some remnants of a monorail that used to connect the mall and that hotel. There are some minor remnants left where the monorail used to be. I think this road here is where it used to be. And it would connect in the middle, somewhere here. Which they've changed an awful lot out here. This has all changed an awful lot. There's the Sears building. That's still there. I thought Sears was defunct. Or at least I know uh, the shopping malls out in near DC where I lived for some time closed down. over here now. Wait, so much has changed. I think that is the JC Penny building still. There used to be a uh, toy store out here. But that's gone. That uh, toy chain didn't survive long. There was a KB Toys in here. Uh, there used to be an arcade attached to the Sears a long time ago. They had a Star they had a Star Trek arcade game, and they had Dragon's Lair, and they had some other laser disc game with spaceships that I had never played before. And they had Quicks and a um, original Missile Command. Oh, that, that that was gone. Whenever my mom were our mothers my me and my friends whenever our our mothers decided to come out and get their hair done at the um the beauty place in sears they would always give us a bunch of quarters and let us go to the uh, arcade it was right next to where the uh the beauty parlor part was inside sears and in Sears, I would always get a bag of chocolate stars. That was one of my favorite things to get as a kid. I loved getting that. But, uh, yeah. Times change. Things change. Oh, this is JC Penny here. That must have been one of the other stores. I know this, this place has changed so much. I, I, I just don't... I don't hardly know it anymore. I haven't been here in so long. This is all brand new. The Macy's. All brand new. Now, I used to ride a bike here. I even used to walk here. There was a Babbage's in here and they would have uh, games on display playing. You know, they had games recorded to videotape. Which was, um, video capture was an early thing for games back then. And I would just, me and my friends would just stand there for hours and just watch the demos playing. And would occasionally buy a few games. I bought my TurboGrafx-16 out of that Babbage's. You know, I bought computer games for the Commodore 64 out of that Babbage's got shut down. 
after Babbage's was merged with another company. I think it was shut down or merged with another company. I forget which. So much has changed. So much has changed. It's just not recognizable anymore. Now, all this is just... None of this is familiar. None of this. I have, I have, I've been away for so long. Anyway, it's time to uh, start our journey into my neighborhood. So let's begin. Just down the road here in Michigan Avenue is the library here in Dearborn. Um, I've only ever been here once in my entire life, and that was with my mom. She was doing something uh, with schools. She used to work for Detroit Public Schools. And so we came here for, I forget what the reason was. We came here just one time, a long time ago. And I remember seeing this every time we passed it by here on Michigan Avenue. This, uh, this road goes all the way. Um... This goes all the way down to downtown Detroit. This is another place that I know oh so well from my childhood. This is uh, Deer the center of Dearborn here. And uh, this down here used to be a Hudson's. Let's head down here. Yeah, this used to be a Hudson's, and now it's something called Beaumont. I believe that's the name. Let me get closer here. Yeah, Beaumont. Never heard of it. This used to be a Hudson's, like, forever. Until Hudson, Hudson's went defunct. Now, I bought my then-girlfriend a bomber jacket out of here when it was still a Hudson's store. always passed here and sometimes we would stop here because there was a a Cunningham's and thing and then uh, this this was this whole area here in this is this area here in Dearborn is all Middle Eastern now and they are it's all sorts of Middle East Middle Eastern shops my mom would pick up um, she would pick up these huge trays of baklava it is a really, really, really good Middle Eastern um, snack food, a pastry. It's really tasty and extremely rich, made of nuts and honey and, and other ingredients. And it, it, it tastes so good. I, I miss baklava, really. But... Um, there was a store here. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a music store or something. Oh, God, it's been so long. Everything has changed so much. Yeah, I don't know what any of this is now. It's so different. It is so different. The, uh... Over here, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, this is very, this is different. This is not the same. Dearborn Fresh Supermarket. Oh, this is different. This used to be a Farmer Jack. That used to be a Farmer Jack. Uh, back over in here someplace, there used to be a TV place. There used to be a, a TV shop over back in here, but that that disappeared in the 80s. The place to buy TVs. And this used to be a Farmer Jack. And somewhere around here, no, over the other side, there was a CVS. It was something else way back when I was 
really young. But it was something else very different when I was a kid. But let's keep going. Just to show how much things have changed. Right around here, there used to be a pizza hut. We used to go there all the time. And now it's gone. Nothing's familiar. Nothing is familiar. None of these buildings I recognize. Uh, that may have still been around. That may be the original building. But it wasn't Elias Brothers. That wasn't there. Uh, that wasn't there. That definitely wasn't there. And this place over here. This used to be. I think where this place is now this used to be the Pizza Hut and it's gone all the buildings that I recognize are, are gone this this whole s small um, shop spot here is completely new construction and uh, some of the yeah this is completely new construction no wait a minute Hold on, I thought this was the building. Yeah, okay, the Elias Brothers is gone too. The original Elias Brothers building is gone too. Wow. That is... crazy. It's just changed so much. Okay, this is still somewhat familiar. Um, this was... Yep, this is still a Sunoco. That building over there is different. This is a truck stop over here. Uh, still, still uh, somewhat familiar here. This is where, this is Michigan Avenue and uh, Wyoming. This is where Dearborn ends and Detroit begins. But we're not going to go down this way. We're gonna go back up in this direction and that's where our journey will start don't worry we'll come back to michigan avenue a little bit later on but this is where this is uh where we always pass through and we would occasionally stop here for gas and then whenever me and my parents went off to go to our cabin up in iosco county this is the freeway we would jump onto up here to get to uh come here go over, get on the I-75, and then take I-75 all the way up to, uh, to where our cabin was. Well, let's take a trip over to, uh, Ford Road, and that's where the real tour starts. Here's where the real tour starts, folks. Right here, this is the dealership where my dad always bought his pickup trucks he would always buy them from here never bought them from anywhere else um, when I was a real little kid like back in the 70s like I remember riding in the vehicle when I heard on the radio that uh, Elvis had died it gives you an idea of just how old I am and he had a four-door a red four-door Buick and then he got rid of that during the um, the fuel crisis in the 70s and got a Chevy Nova and we had that for a while until it started having problems and then ever since then he's had a Ford F-150 or, or, or something larger ever since he would either buy it or he would lease it later on he would lease them but he would always buy a Ford F-150 out of here whenever he bought a new truck. And that would uh, happen once every... He, he would buy one like once every... Um, I'd, I'd say... Every six, seven years, he would have a new one. He had one... No... I, I, he's had three trucks. 
he bought one, then he leased another one, then he bought another one while he was retired. And yeah, that's it. But he would always get them from here. He never got them from anywhere else. And then it is still here. I got it. It's still here. But it's different. It, it is very different. They've, they've taken out a part of it because it used to extend all the way down here. I think. Boy, it's been a long time. Nope, yep. This is the front that I recall. This is the front I recall. I can't read the lettering. It's too far away. In my, my vision, I can't read what that says. If any of you know what... I'll hold still here for a few seconds. If any of you can read what those say, say what movies are showing, that'll give an idea of just how old these... Uh, these uh, Google Street View images are, but I grew up here at Ford, Wyoming drive-in. I saw Star Wars here. I saw um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom here. I saw the Road Warrior here. I saw Wolfen here. What else did I see here? I didn't see Terminator 2 here. Or the original Terminator. I saw some other stuff, but we would we would come here. And this is still around. It looks like it's still open. They're, they've got movies show, they've got movies up on the sign. I don't know how old these pictures are, but uh, that that was the big main uh, screen up there. Right, let's go up there. Yep, this is where you would come through and pay. Right here. And then you would come through here, and then this is where you would park. Oh, it is still here. Holy crap. It is still here. Um. Yeah. Here's one of the what it looks like in here being in here yep there's okay these were here and this is one of the screens they wouldn't start showing the movie until the sun went down and in the meantime you could listen to music uh, through the little speakers that speaker things that they had set up on poles you would put it on your window or on your door and um, listen to music but uh, uh, right here playground I me and my friends used to play here all the time when we went to then we we went here and watched movies we would play here all the time there was grass here now it's all dirt brown but uh, yeah the, the Playground is still here. The slides are still here. The swings are still here. The uh, the 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 tur the turntable thingy, whatever they call it, is still here. It's all still here. All the little all the little uh, towers for the little speaker things are still here. Uh, that's the building where the projector is, right there. This is the concession stand right here. And then um, these theaters, these screens here. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's a the uh, imagery is having a problem with this screen. It doesn't look like that in real life. Uh, there's a little bit of green here. I don't think there's a play area here in this one, but. Um, the, these were added sometime later. They added on, expanding for more movies. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's an up. There's a playground here on this one. No, wait a minute. This is the main one. Ah, 
this is one of the new ones I remember. Uh, this was added in the late 80s, early 90s. These two, right here. Because these weren't here before. These were added later on. And then all the rest of these buildings and everything were all here. These are these were all here when I was growing up. If I remember correctly, it was either this screen or this. I think it was this screen. Yeah, this was the screen where I saw Temple of Doom, and then I saw Star Wars here on the main screen. Um, there was a movie about a giant um, octopus right after Star Wars. I remember that. And then there was um, The Road Warrior and Wolfen on here. So we watched that on here. Escape from New York. We watched Escape from New York here in this screen as well. I remember that clearly. That's where we watch. This is where we watched that as well. Escape from New York. Man. And it's all still here. It looks like it's all still open. Everything's still here. Wow. They must be getting enough business in order to be able to stay open. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Man. Memories. Memories, memories, memories. Alright. Let's go. Okay, we've traveled some distance down... Ford Road and in Detroit it becomes McGraw and so we came down here and this was here this was a different place uh, this was always here uh, it's gone now but there was a, uh, a place where you could get electronics repaired that worn place with the um, with the yellow roof that was always there it was sort of an auto repair place and this place here was always here too i think this was always this place always if i, ever, if I recall it's oh, it's been so long no no this was different this was different so this is this has definitely been changed that I've never been in that place before so that's definitely changed and um, this was down here this is a major road that let us get down to Michigan Avenue it always crossed the freeway over here that's where we would I think this was the road or is it the one down here we'll see here we are in my stomping grounds. This was a different place. I don't remember what this used to be. Um, it changed so often. It was once a bar with some other stuff, some other st shop. Um, it sat empty for a long time, other times. Uh, this place here was in the late 80s. It was just uh, a barren lot for a long time until it was finally put in. So it looks like it's still getting business. And this is sad to see. I think this is I think this is shut down. This was one of my favorite places to go. It was an ice cream place. Uh, you could get footlongs out of here. You could get some of the best shakes, strawberry shakes out of here. I, I loved getting strawberry shakes from here you know what? They, they got a windows here still maybe it maybe it is still open maybe it is still open but you could get all kinds of ice cream soft serve um scooped they had um regular cones they had waffle cones all sorts of stuff here i used to come here a lot uh, the tables are gone. They used to have some tables back over here. They're gone. This used to be a little bit of parking spot where you could park if you drove here. We would always walk here and this place would always be busy. Always be busy. 
So I don't know if it's still open or not. Um, I mean, it, it sort of looks like it is. The sign is gone though, which is not encouraging. No. It was one of my favorite places to hang out and it's gone. Or maybe gone. And this is my this is my street. This is where it starts. This is new. This place is completely new. Uh, this yard still has that fence. So that's a, it's a little different. They've been they've been fixing it up a bit. Uh can't tell if this store is closed or not. This store has been here for a long time. But this is the corner store that we would always go to to um, get stuff. We would get soda here, chips, um, snacks, other stuff instead of running all the way to the uh, grocery store. We would come here and get them. I remember uh, we would get six packs of Pepsi and they were glass bottles then and they had them in these plastic they had them in these uh wooden caddies and or not wooden but pl what um cardboard caddies and every time we brought them home we would stop at the at the steps and we would check the bottles to make sure there weren't any roaches on the on the bottles because we knew this place had bugs and they used to have arcade games in here so um it, it Kinda looks like this place might still be open. They never really decorated this place that much, but um, but this was one of the places of my childhood. Would always come here, and this is my street. This is Florida. Let's head down here. Okay. This house is gone. Probably burned down. Was torn down. This place is still here. That place is still here. This place is still here. A lot of this used to be farmland, so you'll see places like this that look like farmhouses. And uh, a lot of these yards have fences in them now. Not all, not all of them had fences when I was growing up. I think this house did have a fence. It had that fence. This one didn't. This is new, completely new. Okay, the house that was here is gone. I think this was always gone. That house has been there. Another, like a farmhouse like thing. And here's another big house. Uh, whenever you see one of these big houses with the, with the um, upper porch and stuff like this, those were mansions back then, back in the um, early 1900s. This used to be an affluent neighborhood. You can't tell it now, uh, but this was once an affluent neighborhood. And uh, a speed bump. Huh, that's new. People used to race up and down this street. Uh, it was a two-way street at one point, and then they made it a one-way when I was a kid. I knew nobody on this particular part of the street. I didn't know anybody here. But I always walked down this street. That's new. Uh, this was always a vacant lot. That's different porch, same house. Uh, that's all new. Same houses, all the same here. You know, the fence is new. Same places here. This hasn't changed that much here. Maybe a new paint. That place finally has a railing. And it has a fence. So that that's very different. 
How? Ah. There used to be a brick building here. It's gone. So there's uh, cars park here now. That is gone. This is still here and it is fenced in. And at one point it was a store. And then for a very short time it was a bar. But uh, that was a very short time. Okay. Uh, this was always fenced in, but not that kind of fence. It was just a regular old fence. This was a regular old fence too, but now this is very different. Never knew the people that lived on this end of the street. But going further in, wait, so that, that house didn't look that way. Okay, we're getting into where I knew people. Oh, that house is destroyed. That house looks better. A very nice Spanish couple lived here. They were an older couple. They really kept up their house. In fact, when my parents retired, these were the people that bought our home. The home I grew up in. These were the people that bought it. And then... Jewish couple lived here. Um, my dad would always call him Rabbi. He wasn't a rabbi, but my dad would always call them that, and they were the nicest people. Uh, they were tightwads. They would only flush their toilet maybe once every couple of days, but um, because they didn't want to pay that much for water and sewer. <laughs> um, we do somebody who lived here. I think uh, she used to cut my kids' hair. Here or here is where she lived. And then she moved somewhere else. Okay. This has changed a lot. This did not have a porch on it before. Uh, an old grouchy old lady used to live here next to, a, next to us. And um... He was very grouchy. She was always friendly to me, but she was always grouchy to everybody else. And mostly kept to herself. Alright. Uh, these places have changed some. Um, I think that's a weird graphical artifact. No, no, that's not a graphical artifact. That's something that fell down. Okay. Here is where Anna and her two sons lived. And this is where Mark and Debbie lived with their kids, Melissa and Christopher and Tony. And Anna's two sons were Richard and David. David passed away on his 21st birthday, tragically, when he crashed, and his car crashed in I-75, his friends were taking him out to celebrate his 21st birthday. And it just broke Anna to lose her son. She still had Richard. But they were both good friends of mine. I, always, I would always come over and play with them all the time. David was really into rock. He would play Black Sabbath and and uh, Ozzy Osbourne and stuff all the time. Tony was also into rock music. Uh, Chris, um, um, Christopher wasn't always into that, um, but I would always play over here with him. Another friend of mine, Glenn, they lived uh, downstairs for a long time until they moved. And uh, then 
Uh, Mark and Debbie took over the whole house. They made it one whole house instead of uh, two, two uh, you know, apartment flats. And so they lived the whole place. This looks like this has been really fixed up. Uh, significantly fixed up. There was a house right there, sitting right there, but now it's gone. Um, a girl named Tootie used to live there, and she would babysit me when I was a little kid. But um, that house where she lived is gone. Completely gone. Uh, this house here, um, this has always been here. There used to be big shrubs out front. We would climb all over them and climb up the porch. I climb up this uh, this part of the porch here, the um, brick part there. We would always, always be climbing on that. Um, a couple of Romanian families used to live here, and we would play with their kids every so often growing up. And this is it. The house I grew up in. This has changed significantly over the years. This is where I this is where I grew up. We had it's it's mostly the same. It's still mostly the same. A lot of the porch is still the same. Um I'm surprised just how much of it is still um still just the way I remember it. Uh, there's the windows, the door is different, of course. Uh, there's been a little bit more landscaping. Uh, some of the fencing has been taken out. This used to be a separate front yard. We did have, later on, we did have this all fenced in. My dad fenced it in, and my dog princess could run around out here. Um... I think they did leave those chairs here or else those are new it looks like some work has been done on the garage back here um, that's where my dad would always park his truck out in the back I, I, me and my friends always played out here we would play uh, a, a football game called kill the man with the ball out here out here on this uh, lawn always do that um, we had um, a handicapped parking space here because of my vision so my mom had the tag on the inside of the car so that she could drive me around and park here because I relied a lot on her on transportation if I didn't take the bus to go anywhere uh, up in that window up there in the, the uh, attic this house had a really big attic when I was really little my dad had a train set up there and then uh, throughout the 80s uh, we had a HBO microwave receiver homemade one in a coffee can and it would pick up HBO signals being broadcast throughout the city from downtown and so we had free HBO for like the longest time until finally, finally, the city allowed cable TV in. And they would only allow cable TV in when it was a black owned company. And that's part of the reason why this city is going to hell because they would only allow minority companies. They wouldn't allow anybody else in here. It was part of the reason why this this place went to hell is because they were always resistant to other other big uh, companies coming in here if it wasn't minority owned uh, the siding is still the same I don't look like most of the many of the windows have been changed uh, looks like the mailbox may have been moved mailbox used to be over here But it still looks it still looks just the way it was that I remember it and the backyard they've changed some things back here it's hard to tell with these uh, these images and the way Google processes them it's it's hard to tell um, 
trees have really grown up back here. Uh, they still have the alleyway, but it looks a mess. The garage is definitely still here, not been destroyed. Uh, looks like they may have a pool back here. Um, and we've always had two, always had the two lots right here with our house. Right in this area here was where my parents would grow um, a garden. And so we would have corn, we would have lettuce, tomatoes. I don't think we grew carrots, but we would always grow corn and lettuce and tomatoes. And I think, um, I think we might have grown some occasionally grown um, watermelon. But mostly just lettuce, tomato, corn. Um, that's about it. There used to be a tree here in front of the garage that would occasionally produce plums. A little plum tree. Uh, none of these other trees produced anything over here. A lot of this is really grown up, overgrown. There was the lot here. Uh, the house right behind mine, I think this house over here, we come over here, Oop, not over it yet, central, okay, this has changed, uh, is this the house, have they fixed this house up, okay, this is all fenced in now, this is all fenced in now, uh, or is this the house? Let me come down here real quick. Nope, that is the house. That is the house. Alright, let me come over here. Alright. Looks like this place has been fixed up. It was destroyed at one time. But it looks like it's been repaired and rebuilt. And someone's living there. Um good friend of mine that I used to play with that get on, on and off a lot Slave he and his family were from Yugoslavia and great people nice people they occasionally had me over for dinner from time to time um, I would play with him me and my friends would play with him a lot um, not as much as I played with uh, Christopher Day Christopher, Richard, Glenn, David, and Tony. And, uh, let me show you where we used to play at. Or, used to. Okay. This is where we used to play. Uh, I actually went to this school. This is Priest Elementary. Um, or it was, I think it's something else now, but this was Priest Elementary. I think it is still an elementary school. It's been a long time since I've been here. A really long time. And I think my parents moved me to a different school after I was here for a year or two. I was moved to O.W. Holmes. I think I might show you that if I can find it. And back when I was a kid, this was all here. This was this this was the building for the school. This, I think, this is a middle school that was added on. But um, this here was not here. All of this was green yard with some area here for the teachers to park in this area here which looked like a playground for the kids um this wasn't here none of this was here back over here there was a fence all the way around here and then you could come through there was an entry way to get into the fence and then there was a baseball diamond here but it hadn't been used as a baseball diamond for so long and kids would run around through this so much that they created a trench in the form of the baseball diamond all the way around and it would occasionally fill with water when it um, got really wet here. Okay. 
this is this has changed so much now the reason why they paved all this over is because this whole area around here all of this a lot of this in this area over here used to be a glass factory and so they found arsenic in the ground and they were afraid of that so they decided to dig up the dirt um, they shipped in some new dirt for this spot here, over here, for this spot over here. They shipped in some new dirt for that over there, and they paved all this over to, uh, make all of this to, um, protect us from the arsenic. The thing is, me and my friends used to play out here all the time when we were little, and we never got once sick once. So, hey. <laughs> What do I know, you know? Of course, um, they put fresh dirt here to make this spot. Huh, that place is gone. All that area over there is gone. Wow. That's just destroyed. <sighs> I wonder if any other places that I, uh, that I remember are still around. There's downtown Detroit over there. That's where the HBO was beamed from, from the tall buildings over there. That's how we were able to pick it up with that uh, receiver. Way back over there. In fact, um, we could go up into our attic, and when they fired off fireworks near the Ambassador Bridge, we could actually see the fireworks from our... on the 4th of July from our attic. From the windows in our attic. So let's head down this way and see if I can find any of the old places that me and my friends used to hang out. Okay, here we are at the end of Florida Street here on uh, Kirkwood. And uh, there we used to be a house here, brick house, all gone, completely gone. And I remember when I was a little kid, we would occasionally go down here and um on halloween i remember we would always go down this way trick-or-treating i mean, things have really changed really changed over here this house is still here always with the um the fireplace okay i was mistaken that was central the street next to mine where Slave lived and this is Florida and that house is gone this I think was put in a little before I left uh, Detroit and went uh, down river or went to a different different part of the, went to a different part of Detroit I believe Okay, let's head down this way. There are some places down here that I want to show you that I think are still there, but maybe not. Cut. disheartening um okay which one of these buildings was it all right this was a store um not anymore in fact i think this is the place this was a bakery it's different it was made something different but now it's closed now but uh, this was a very good bakery. Was this or this place? Where the bakery was. I don't, this is where the bakery was. That I remember now. This is where the bakery was. And they made some great stuff. My mom used to get full loaves of bread out of there. You know, back when you used to go to a bakery where they actually made the bread fresh. And they would actually cut the bread 
with a machine. They had the full loaf and they would put it in the machine, it would cut all of them into, into uh, bread slices. And they would have the eclairs here and they had the absolute best cheesecake. I have not found any cheesecake that's as good as what they had out of this bakery. And I haven't found a place that makes eclairs like this place did. I haven't been able to. Just nowhere. And it really makes me sad. Really makes me sad. And now it looks like they're all closed. All closed or this one's been turned into a house, someone's house. But, um, yeah, this was a great place. They used to have great stuff here. And now it's all gone. Don't, no, wait a minute. This was the bar. This was the bakery. <sighs> Damn the memories been so long so freaking long the park is still here park here on Tarno it is still here but uh, the buildings that were over here are gone those were huge brick buildings and these were where um, ice cream trucks would leave out from they would, they would uh, fill up here, and this is where the ice cream trucks would come out of. But they're gone. And um, this park is still here, but it is not the same. They have completely changed this. The all the stuff that was here, the swing sets, and and things, and the 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 um, I forget what the turning roundabout thing was. That's gone. And the slide. The slide is gone. No, the swing set's still there. It looks like the swing set's still there. But the slide, the huge slide they had is all gone. They just completely took it out. I, me, I, me and my friends used to play here all the time. My mom would bring me here when I was a kid. We were really young. And then later on... Me and my friends would come out here on our own. We, when we were old enough to walk or ride our bikes, we would come here on our own to play. And now it's not the same. Not the same at all. The neighborhood still looks somewhat similar. I never knew anybody out here. And this place was always full of kids. Um, I remember the alleyway coming through the alleyway it was almost always filled with broken glass even when I was a kid it was always full of broken glass but um, the, the park here was somewhat clean looks even a little bit more clean but all the all the things that the kids could play on is gone so now it's just empty this is sad slide's gone. The only thing that's left is the swing swing set. Now, it doesn't look like there are any swings on the swing set. It just looks like the swing uh, structure is there. But nothing else. That is sad. That is so very sad. It used to be really fun. I mean, there were um, large, bigger kid swings and then swings for little kids. You know, the ones with the would close down over their front that used to be there and it doesn't look like it's there anymore god that has changed so much that has changed so much and this is starting to get me a little depressed well onward onward Big Apple's still here. Okay. Uh, the deli. Uh, fruit deli and a um, little bit of groceries, too. Looks like it's still here. It's being well kept. Uh, this place is new. Or not new, but I think this was cleaned up. 
Uh, don't know what this is being used for now. I can't see any of the signs. But, um, this is... Well, that's different now. Yeah, this is, this is different, but, uh, yeah, the Big Apple is still here. That's, ha that's good to know. That's happy to know. And it looks like it's being well maintained. That, that's, that's good to know. The church is gone. There was a big church here. Now, I never went to this church, but there was a big church here. Uh, it's, it's here in this view, but it's gone here, and it looks like there's some uh, buildings and stuff over here. It's a little bit further down. This is all on McGraw. Yeah, it, it's completely gone. The church is completely gone, and um, this looks so similar this is um let's, let's go down this way further what have they done this is all the schoolyard here there was a uh, elementary school i forget the name of the elementary school that was here um oh my god in this view it's all gone all of it's gone or no no wait a minute no here it is that almost scared me there a little bit let's 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 continue on down here i never went to this particular school um it looks like this place has changed yeah, this is seriously changed here. This was a police substation. I was here on a field trip once. It's not a police substation now. Um, they have changed this significantly. This building is not the way it was when I was a kid. They've altered this. I don't know what kind of school this is now. I don't know what the name of the school is anymore. Oh, the firehouse is still here. We came here for a field trip here as well. I remember this one, so the firehouse is still here. And this place is here, but I think this was always closed. This was reopened into something. I don't know what this is now. All this is still on McGraw. This place was always closed here. And now we're going to head down this way and see what's become of my old high school. Yeah, this is all different now. This is not the same. This has been this has been completely redone. Over here used to be Chadsey High School and a, um, a middle school. I don't know what the name of it is. I don't remember what the name of the middle school was that was here. This used to be Chadsey or maybe this is the new Chadsey High School. I can't tell the name. I can't tell what the name of this is. What this building is here. Maybe it will tell me. But this is completely new. All this construction is completely new. They've completely replaced all this. This parking wasn't here. This was, you know, this was um, green lawns here. There were entryways and it was, it was fenced in. And right over here was where the um, gym was. There was a pool over in this other area here. The swimming pool. I remember that from my swimming class. This road that went back here through the uh, playground area was not there. 
the parking thing I think might be still be the same and then all the rest of this was all play area back in here um, football field because they did have a football team and everything but all oh, this is different all oh, this is completely 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 different this is not the same anymore of what it used to be and all this is different too that house looks so different now it, it, it changed this so much I can't read the sign I can't get up close to it to read it either so if you can tell me if you can see it I'll hold still for a second if you could read it let me know in the comments below what it says okay I don't know what school this is <sighs> is so it's it's alien completely alien to what it used to be what the hell this is just not the same all this is just completely different now there used to be another school further down here I do remember this one was torn down a long time ago when I was still living here it was taken out, but uh, it is gone. There's like no sign that it was ever once here. Past this road, over the bri over this bridge, over the freeway, is where it was. And it looks like there is like no sign that it was ever there. That's still here. Looks like nobody's ever done anything with it. I think, uh, coming up is where that school used to be. My mom worked at that school for a little while. Yep, here it is. Yep, this is where that other school was and it was completely taken out. Just completely removed. Yep. travel down this way because this was the street if I recall correctly let me see there was another church here I think um, okay there's an old church built not church but old building here I don't know re recall what this was it was a school or a little library or something I forget what it was I don't remember what this was and then here we are at Michigan Avenue and none of this is familiar here except for that place None of this is familiar. Boy, this has changed so much. Okay, we're here on Michigan Avenue in Livernois. Shell Station, I think, was always here. Um, I think this place here used to be a little motel. This has changed significantly. Um, this place, I think, is new was not here before I think this place was always here but it was something else it, I didn't always come here an awful lot but um, one of these places used to go to get uh, tickets for Babalo Island Babalo Island was an amusement park that sat on the US Canadian border on Babalo Island and you would go downtown and you would get on these ferry boats that would take you there. These paddle wheel ferry boats. And we used to go there occasionally every couple of years and I took my girlfriend there a few times. And we always liked going there. And it wasn't that expensive to go either. It was always fun. But, uh, yeah, this 
far in the neighborhood. It's changed a lot. Okay, over here, um, I don't know if it's still there or not, but um, that's a casino. That was the, a casino that was put in into Detroit. Um, it used to be an IRS building, and I interned in there uh, for a uh, special program with school with, with uh, my high school. I interned there working on uh, mainframe computers. But um, the IRS moved out of the building and it became a casino. I don't know if it's still a casino or not, but um, after they allowed casinos in here, that's where one was. I always remember this particular building because this is where the Michigan Commission for the Blind was located and where my mom would always take me here. Wasn't uh, far from the place over there where we used to go to uh, where I interned for the IRS and where they became a uh, where it became a uh, casino. Here is where the commission was. We would always come here whenever we saw the commission for the blind to get me uh, glasses or any kind of special aids or a new cane or a new cane or anything like that that I needed in order to get around the city. But um, this is where we always came to come see them. We're gonna make our way further downtown, show you some of the places I used to hang out downtown. Okay, uh, here we are in, in a historic part of downtown Detroit, which looks like there's new construction over here. And over here, all this is new. All this is new. This is a uh, a ballpark and but it used to be this is where the Detroit Tigers used to play it was all here and this looks new now um, this is all new but the Detroit Tigers actually played here he had a huge stadium and people were really angry when they took this out and tore it down and because it was a historic place and they just tore it down and built all this up in it but um looks like they kept the brick road this historic brick road they kept it for all this um work and construction that they've done or are or, or doing around here. This is what all the roads used to look like in the 1800s down here and they kept, they've always kept it like this to preserve the history of this, of this area. Somewhere down here, I don't know where at, it's probably gone, there used to be a really great place where you could get ham sandwiches and they were like thick pieces of ham. It was a great place, and when the stadium shut down, I think they shut down as well. All right, let's keep going downtown. Okay, here in these satellite images, you can see all of this here. Um, okay, this is here. I don't know what this is. Uh, I haven't been here in a long time. The people mover looks like it's still here. I thought this was shut down years ago. But it looks like it's still here. It might still be in operation. I mean, it looks like it's being still well kept. Uh, the People Mover is a monorail system. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's still in operation. It looks like it's still in operation. What this does, it connects different parts of the, uh, the city. Some buildings, some uh, buildings, office buildings, a large apartment structure, and um, it also connects. There was a place called Trapper's Alley, but that got turned into a casino, and I, that pr they're probably keeping that for it. I think also uh, the big venue down here 
where they had the circus and they also hold conventions and stuff down here. I think that is also connected to all of this. But let's go further down Michigan Avenue. All this um, looks a little familiar, still looks somewhat the same. Don't know if they, how much of this they've changed in here. I used to work down in, down in here before. Okay. Oh, yes. Oh, so, is this place still here? Oh my god, is this place still here? think I am looking at what I think I'm looking at yet. Hold on. Let me reorient myself. Get into street view. Okay. Yes! Uh, this place. Oh! The deli. It looks like it may still be open. Um, this place used to uh, ship orders all over the country. Because people like the food so much from here and uh, down over here there used to be a Taco Bell I would go there for lunch when I worked here downtown this place was always here let's get down here I remember this building too because I worked uh, right across from that building right there This is important here. This building here, when I was a kid, and my vision is was not is not great, was not great, and still isn't great. I um, ran into this building, and some woman yelled at me, and my mom got mad at her for it. Did not like that. It really upset her. Um, and then here are the rail for a trolley that used to, I think it might still come through here every so often. Um, now I worked in, I think, that building over there, and you could see one of the other buildings that was back over here in the other trees. Let's go down this way. Now, this place was put in, um, this was a big coup for the city to bring these guys in, because they were, they were a, um, big contractor for the, um, for the automakers, so they were able to get them to move in here. Looks like, uh, some other stuff has moved in here since then. But uh, this used to be the HUD, historic Hudson's building for years before it was finally torn down. And I used to go to the Hudson's building here when I was a little kid. And during Christmas time, they took a few of the upper floors and the elevators were those kind where you get in and they close that um, gate. And then they had a guy operating the elevator with a lever. It was one of those back then. And they had a couple of floors just absolutely mega decked out for Christmas. They had a little train thing that you could ride on to ride through. They had moving displays and Christmas lights everywhere and trees. And I mean, they went all out for Christmas on two floors. And then Hudson shut it down and it went abandoned for years. They tried restoring it as a sort of marketplace, as a sort of flea market. And then that failed. The building was torn down. A lot of people were very upset about that. And then it was just left vacant for years. And then these guys were brought in. And it looks like... Uh, Quite a few other companies have come in and occupied this space, but it was a place to uh, support the automakers here because they were a contractor for the automakers. 
And so this is um, where Michigan Avenue ends. Down here. Or partially ends. Let's go this way. See how much this has changed. I do remember coming down here a lot. This is different now. I don't recall this being here. This is a new building. This is new construction. I think this was always here. This was always here. This building was always here. Um, the You would always see this building whenever the Thanksgiving parade would come through. Okay, this is the building where I worked and you would see this building and they would always put some kind of advertisement on that blank side wall of that building. Um, I worked for a um, tele, tele, um, no, no, telemarketing company, but a company where you ran 1-800 numbers and people would call in for stuff. Um, one of the things we did was we sold IBM OS2 out of there. They would have our, they would have our phone number on the, um, let me reorient here. They would have our 1-800 number play during commercials. And it would be in commercials for like, um, oh, this is, this is new. That's completely new. What is that? Let me get a little closer if I can. Huh. Yeah, that is completely new right there. But, um, yeah, they would call in and they would have the number advertised during the Super Bowl. And I remember that time. They were running ads for IBM OS2 Warp during the Super Bowl one year. And we were there taking calls. The phone was ringing off the hook for it. Uh, I then later went off to school for a while and came back and then they weren't doing OS2, OS2 anymore. They were doing a phone num phone uh, thing where you could call in for brochures of Ford Motor Company vehicles. And then after that, I went to work for another company after that, like a tech company after that. But, um, yeah, I recall this. I recall this building clearly because this is where I used to work at one time. Um, where was one of the other? Oh, I used to work in that building. I was a contract. In fact, I've been on the very top floor of that place. That was where um, one of the utility companies used to be in there. And not anymore. Um, they shut down and merged with another utility company. And... I was a IT guy in there during their shutdown. This was around the time of 9-11. A lot of this is, has changed, but I was in this building. And a very old building. Uh, actually was in the basement once of that building too. I was actually in the basement once. because we had to move some computers down there that were being sent out to a uh, company that would refurbish them and resell them uh, that were being used by people that worked in the building. Well, it's, things have really changed. Uh, this glass building here is completely new, but this one here is it's still, still here. Still here, there's still the walkway between I think that's a walkway, if I recall. That is still connecting the two. Yep. Yep, that's still there. 
And then this building here, I don't know why they um, blocked that out. Um, now this building over here, I think this is City Hall. I want to say this is City Hall right here. I think this is. Yeah, I think this is. I think this. Yep, there is this. There is the statue right there. This is City Hall. I've actually been in there before uh, looking for a job. Oh, this is blocked off. Huh. This, that, that area was blocked. Okay. I've never been in that building. Let's come down here. I've been all over the place down here. Um, here's the Joe Louis Fist statue. This has always been here. Um, that's new. This, this thing is new. Here. Let's get a aerial view of this place here. Uh, this was always here. They would always have like um, free concerts down in this area. This is a water fountain here. And then there would be free, free concerts playing down in here. Down in Hart Plaza. Um, ah, here we go. Civics, the Civic Center. This arena here is where they used to have the Barnum and Bailey and Barnum and Bailey Circus before the Barnum and Bailey Circus became nothing. I used to go here for that. Uh, they also used to do like auto car race auto car stuff in here you know like um something like tractor pulls or something like that something similar to that they used to have that here um another in, another neat and interesting thing over here it, it looks messed up in this view but the road actually used to travel under the civic center and in here there were conventions all sorts of conventions i went to a nintendo convention here i went to some here there were some other ones here there was a, they always have the auto show here the what they call now the north the north american auto show was always here autorama is always here um they have a variety of different conventions in this place all the time so this is this is still pretty much the same you would park on the roof uh, what is that spiral here still to get up on the roof or did they change that there was always there was a road back over here and then they would have a spiral that you would drive up in order to get up into the parking garage on the roof. I think they took that out. I think that's gone. Yeah, I don't see the spiral. There used to be a spiral that would run upside the building and you would drive up that in order to get to the roof. And it looks like that is gone. I think this is the addition is it over here where is it oh there it is there's the spiral okay I thought it was closer okay here's the spiral you drive up this and then you drive past this thing I'm not sure what this is uh, it's attached to this over here I don't know what this is for I don't know what this is a part of but um, it goes here and this is attached here. I don't recall what this is. And then it was, would take you up here. And you would pay for your parking here. And then you come and park in here. It would always park on the roof. 
God, I, I come here so often. So often. I only ever went to the circus maybe once. Oh, and all this over here. All this on the other side. That is... Canada. That is Windsor. All I've ever been to that is another country. And that down over there. Let me fly it. Let me fly down over here. Here's the people mover. Right here. Detroit River. And let me just briefly take us down here. Here's the Ambassador Bridge. Down over here is where they would have the barges for the 4th of July fireworks show. And, um... This is almost exclusively for truck traffic now. <laughs> Regular car traffic, there's a tunnel that goes underneath the river. This is this bridge is almost exclusively for truck travel now. To go into Windsor. Alright, let's go back. Down, downtown. Down the waterfront. And this is one place I almost worked at one time. And I would come down here a few times. I did come down here a few times with my girlfriend. And I came down here with my mom a lot. The Renaissance Center. Um... I think this might still be, um, I don't know, this was turned into a, this was turned into GM headquarters at one time. I don't know if they're still down here or not, but, um, the center tower was a higher Regency hotel with office buildings on either side and a rotating and they would have a, yep, there it is, a rotating hotel, a rotating restaurant at the, on the roof. I was up here once. I ate here once. It was eh, okay. Back in high school, um, in the later years of high school, we were part of a business young, it was, um, what was that organ, what was that group? young business professionals or something like that they had some kind of a big event and they took over parts of the convention uh, center that were here in the renaissance center and so they had like presentations and they had an award show and they had con they had competitions and everything and i was all a part of that and i came down here and was a part of it and we stayed in the renaissance um, we stayed in the hyatt regency hotel that was here in the central tower up in this higher part um and we stayed here for like a couple of days i saw one of the um police academy movies and i also saw in a the movie theater down here i also saw um Batman. The, the the first Tim Burton Batman movie. Uh, those are the movies that I uh, ever came down here to see. Um, and somewhere down here is where the Detroit Symphony Orchestra plays. Oh, here's the tunnel. Here's the Detroit Windsor Tunnel. So you would come all the way down here to go to the tunnel somewhere around here is where no no they moved them i think they moved them they were somewhere here it was the detroit symphony orchestra i think they moved them to down another location but this is where they were and i re i did come to here before next to heart plaza 
where I think they still do free concerts and stuff down here. I think it was somewhere here, or it was where all this is, where it used to be. I think this might have been where it was, where the orchestra played and was tear and it was torn down. But um, this is all a part of the tunnel here, the duty-free shop over here. Somewhere around in here also, um, here or a little bit further down is where you would get on the boat for, um, for Boblo Island. But Boblo shut down a long time ago. Um, but even while I was still living in Detroit, Boblo shut down. So the bridge for the um, thing for the people mover is still here, looks like. Let's follow this. Uh, some of this looks familiar. Some of this looks like it's been torn uh, down and changed over here. Well, one of these buildings it was is an apartment complex. I recall this. Well, they got a bunch of solar panels on the roof here. This stuff. Ah! Is this it? Yes. This is it. This is what used to be called Trapper's Alley. This was a shopping mall where they took an alley between two buildings and they enclosed it and they had shops here. I used to take my girlfriend here occasionally. They had a music store in here. Um, and a couple other places. It was interesting. It wasn't a big shopping mall. People did come here. And then later they turned it into a casino. And... Uh, what is it now? Fish bones. Hmm. But, um... Yeah, this was a historic location, and so they enclosed it all in, and uh, it may not be a casino anymore. Maybe it still is. I don't know if they. I don't know if they still have them or you down here or not. But I know that they did turn this area into a. There's a Five Guys. I wish we had a Five Guys around us. I, I miss Five Guys. Five Guys burgers were so darn damn good. But, uh, I came down here looking for work at one point, at one time uh, when this was a casino. Uh, it might still be a casino. But I don't know. It's hard to say. What does this sign say here? International Banquet Center. So much has changed. <sighs> Not sure what else to show you of where I used to hang out as a kid. You know what? Let me see if I can let me see if I can find one last place. And here is where I had my first ever work experience at the uh this was called the Detroit Science Center. Now it's called the Michigan Science Center. And I interned in here. Um, it was completely unpaid work. Um, it was all volunteer work. It was for um, school credit. And it was a program through the Michigan Commission for the Blind. But I worked down here. Um, like every other few days I was here, they have a um, an op an Omnimax uh, theater down here. Now Omnimax is different from IMAX. What it is is it is a theater with a big dome uh, inside, and we used to come. I came here for field trips occasionally. And also, um, 
while I was interned here, they had a thing with superheroes going on. And they had this dark room where you would get into it and we would close people up inside and it would be just pitch black and you had to feel around and they'd have a Batman symbol on the inside for you to figure out what the symbol was and they would have a display for um for like seeing how fingerprint how taking fingerprints worked uh, they had an actual moon rock on display uh, they had an apple II on display they had a moon um they had a lunar lander arcade game in here that they had set up for display for their regular display and i would help you know clean up and maintain some of the equipment they had a big um big theater where they could have stuff broadcast in from from remote locations had giant screens um for different programs and stuff i don't know if they still have any of that in here or not um a lot of this has a lot of this has changed this part i think might be slightly new to it but um i would come in here and i would volunteer here this was my first work experience yeah in fact um i would get off the bus and I would come in somewhere around in here. I would enter the building somewhere around in here. Yep. I remember all of this. Yep. Actually, I think it was that door right there. Um, I think we were let in by someone when we came up. It was here or here? We would be let in when we came up and we got off the bus. My things have changed so, so much down this place. Um, I think there was some additions made to the building. The plot has really changed here. Times change. Cultural center. This is new. This is completely new. I never went anywhere much further than this. No. But I used to take buses all over here. Things change with time. You know, just I wasn't expecting everything to change this much. Boy, this is so different. Fooled you! <laughs> no, this is uh, not. That's not the end. Uh, Comerica Park and Ford Field. Uh, these were put in before I left Detroit. Um, this is the football stadium. This is where the uh, football team moved from Pontiac Silverdome to here. And this is where the Detroit Tigers play now. And they do other stuff over here. And stuff. I think they have like concerts and stuff in here. And everything but this is where the uh, Detroit Tigers team plays and then this is the football stadium here named after Ford Motor Company who helped flip the bill to put this place in and all the parking and everything here so this this is where um, the Piston, I think, um, I don't think the Pistons play here. I think they moved someplace else. The Pistons are the basketball team. I don't remember where they moved to. I know our football team 
can't remember their football team's name. I never was really all that interested in football. But uh, this is where they play. And they do other stuff with this. I guess they do stuff with this that, that they can't do at, Silver, at the Silver Dome anymore because the Silver Dome is gone. Yeah, the Silver Dome is defunct. That was defunct a long time ago. Bad storm came through, destroyed the roof of the place, and um, and the Pontiac Silverdome destroyed it. And uh, <laughs> then they don't. Uh, they think they tore it down. They don't use it anymore. But uh, yeah, these guys are still here. You can see the name from the sea, name from the roof. I don't think this opens. I don't think this roof opens. I think this stays closed. I don't not believe this opens at all. Actually, it doesn't look like it opens either. Nope, it doesn't open. And of course, this is always open to the air here. Rather big place. This is about as big as the Tiger Stadium used to be. The original Tiger Stadium that was back where... You know, I showed you where the roads were, were bricks. Comerica is a, a bank. They're a major bank chain out here. And here it is with some people sitting out here and with the, uh, a team playing. I think they have like um, high school and little league competition major major competitions out here occasionally and then the Tigers of course will play out here it's never really all that big in the sports and here's Michigan and Central back in my stomping ground this building was always here, but it's always been something else, different different things. The Little Caesars is still here. Holy crap. That is still here. Little Caesars has not changed. Wow. Um, this place has changed a lot. Um, I think this used to be a Jupiter's at one time. Um, that was a little department store. Me and my mom always went there. When I was really, really little, but uh, it's changed. This used to be a um, Salvation Army, the Comerica Bank. We always went to. Um, it used to be something else, and I have a bag that locks up uh, from the old bank that used to be there before Comerica took it over. So I, I keep important stuff in it, like my birth certificate and, and other things, and I keep that locked away. It's one of those bags that has the key and you lock it up in a safe deposit box. I've got one of those from there. I am wondering if my other old elementary school is still around. So let's go and see if we can find it. First, let's find my old middle school. Okay, I think I'm on the wrong street. Um, this place is still here. I don't know if this is still open or not, but this was an all-girls Catholic school. I did not go here, of course. Uh, what street was that on? I don't remember. It was down here. It was down here Michigan Avenue and some other street. Where was that? Ugh. I'm gonna have to search. Just bear with me. This is something else, but it used to be a hall that you could rent out. It's completely something else now. Oh, God. Where is everything? I think this park was always here. Uh, I think. Yeah, I think this park was always here. There was always a urinal, urinal thing down here that always really stank. Let me see if I can still find that school. Oh, they tore.
tore it down. This is Ogden. Okay, this is the other elementary school I went to. This was O.W. Holmes. Or it was O.W. Holmes. Now it's Universal Academy. This was the other school I went to. And it is gone. Completely, utterly gone. There is like nothing left of it. A park here. Uh, I think they've changed a lot of this over here. Oh my god, this is this is all different. I think they 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 cut off the road, changed the road, and changed this here. This used to go all the way through with one road, and they put all this in here. And then this is all a part of the uh, cat. Yeah, this is completely new. All of this. O.W. Holmes is gone. My old elementary school is completely gone. I can't find my um, old middle school. I don't remember where it is. So much has changed. So much has changed. Okay, this is down central on the other side of Michigan Avenue. Um, I never knew what this school was. I never went there. This, this is still the same. This was a grocery store me and my mom used to go to, and it looks like it's been changed to something new. Um, those are there's a housing that still looks identical to what it was before. This is completely different here. Um, me and my mom would go here from time to time. Looks like it's still some kind of um, supermarket of some kind. But we would go here occasionally when we didn't go to um, Kroger's or Farmer Jack. None of this looks familiar. Um, there was a place that I wanted to find down here that I used to know where it was. Uh, there was an old arcade in it. In fact, when you went down the street, you could occasionally pass and you would still see the old arcade machines in it. I don't think that building exists anymore. I think it was torn down to make room for something else. I'm still looking. i uh, here on Werner Highway. Still looking. Uh, another area that was a big stomping ground for me, um, this was an old Catholic church and Catholic school for girls over here. No, no, it wasn't specifically just for girls. It was also, um, it was a big Catholic school and they would occasionally also have, um, affairs here. Now, let me see if I can find the street. This will be our last stop this time, I promise. Because, um... This will be the end of the road for me. On this trip. This nostalgic trip. I, I, I knew this neighborhood a little bit. Didn't spend an enormous amount of time out in this part, but I did the other yep here's the building okay um looks like they made this into a little bit of a movie theater in a way or used to be i think it was something else at one time yeah i think there was something in here like a dollar theater or something a very long time ago now it's nothing it's all closed <sighs> all right here we go this is it. This is the place. It's all grown over now. That, that tree has been... That tree's really grown a lot. Um... Yeah. Looks like, uh, somebody's been taking care of the place. They, uh, fenced in the rest of the yard here. This is where my girlfriend lived. And this is where we lived after her 
father died and we took over the place and after we were you know we lived here together for a while and we're married we had our kids here this is where we started and um just down the street here just a couple of ways down. Let's see if I can even remember what this place looked like or even if it still looks the same. Um, they owned a second house. One of these houses, not the brick one. Um, a little further down. One of these houses we rented out for a long time from her dad. It was his place. I think it might have been this one. Yeah, I think it might have been this one. This one or one of the other places here. I can't remember. Oh, man, it's been so long. It's hard to remember. One of these we rented out from her dad. It wasn't that far from where um, his place was. Was it this? It's been so long, but um, we lived a few years here, and then we moved from here, and then uh, a couple of places. But this is where it started at. Here, this whole place here is different. Um, the shrubbery is gone. The um, link fence is gone that was here it's all fenced all privacy fenced in now uh, there's a driveway here now I think that was always there but um yeah started this was before everything just fell apart on me and and everything so much went wrong so much just fell apart went wrong over the years A lot of this looks familiar out here now. Here's uh, I-75, the freeway. A lot of houses out here used to be, um, a lot of houses and stuff out here used to be mansions and stuff. And that's why they're all so big and um, some of them have balconies and multiple floors and these little fancy things sticking out of them, too. <sighs> we used to come out under that bridge. You could stand on that bridge and watch the fireworks on the 4th of July. You would do that. Anyway. Um, I think that's where we're going to end our journey. I said this has been emotional for me I mean I'm sure it would be emotional for you going back to old places that you've been to you know places where your life started thanks for watching I'll see you all next time where the hell are we what is Zion Zionsville Indiana we're in Indiana already Damn. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time, everybody. On the next... The VR Tourist.